The night of the tornado will forever be etched in my mind. It was immediately very obvious to me that we'd had a major storm. There it is. There it is. Oh gosh, that is a monster tornado. Hit back up. Bad. Oh my gosh. This is awful. This was an F4, F5. This was. When I first arrived, I immediately went to the emergency department which was overflowing with victims from the storm. The scene outside the hospital looked like a war zone. There were patients uh, and persons everywhere. There were countless family members coming in looking for loved ones. They had no idea really if they were at the hospital, but if they were, they needed to find them and determine their condition. To see a mother looking for her child and not knowing, is her child here? Are they okay? Or are they dead? The injuries were horrific, beyond really comprehension. We saw images that will haunt us forever. Because of the large number of patients that we were seeing, supplies became an issue. We were the only facility that had any degree of power within this area here, uh, and we sit up on a hill uh, somewhat. It's kind of like a lighthouse or a beacon, you know, into the night as it approached dusk. It was the only place in town that you could see on this end of town that, that had functional capabilities. You call the disaster plan. It was a way, it's an hour before you start getting patients until you can set your disaster plan up and everything kind of works like clockwork. You never dream the disaster is going to be three blocks away. It says that please wait for your supervisor to call you if we have a disaster. Well, thank goodness the employees disregarded that totally and came flocking in. The employees of Freeman Health System rose to this occasion far beyond anyone's wildest expectations. When employees arrived at the hospital, they would do and were doing whatever they needed to do. In retrospect, the only thing I can say is that our staff did what would be considered humanly impossible. We certainly enjoyed a great sense of camaraderie and teamwork at Freeman. But I've seen that reach a new level since the tornado. It didn't matter what discipline you were or what role you were in the community or what your standing was in the community. If there was something that you could do, you, everybody kind of pulled together to make it happen. And it just happened because I think soon people, when they realized the enormity of what happened, they just tried to do the right thing and they did it. Over the past two years, we've uh, provided uh, anesthesia services for uh, Freeman. What we found is that their values are very similar to ours. We wanted to uh, recognize the employees of uh, Freeman Hospital as the heroes that, that they were and are today. The uh, Jackson Healthcare family of companies uh, raised over $10,000. I have to tell you, it's very nice to have a business partnership with a company that says stepping up that fast and say we want to be a part of this for your employees we're very very grateful we ask two things from our employees in our what we call our quest to be the best and that is we ask them for their hearts and their hands and we ask them for their hearts for the passion for the job and their hands to give world-class service we're trying now to bring in you know more, more staff in all areas of the hospital to staff it up, and, and it's working. We've, for the most part, been able to handle what has come to our door after about the first three weeks or so. The way I describe our experience and our employees' experience is we're experiencing a new normal. That new normal is much busier. Uh, it means people working a few extra shifts. It means working hard to recruit RNs, which we have recruited 73 since May the 23rd. We've been able to work with our community, with community resources, and uh, I think we'll be at that new normal for a long time, and we're getting very comfortable with it.